What's good, YouTube? So I'm headed out razor clan without the Wally. The Wallster's still getting some rest. So the Revster ain't with me, but I'm going out anyway. See y'all soon. A little preview. Jason's Country Store. That's where I got my fishing license. It's pretty sweet. It's exactly that, a country store. And yeah, it was dank. All right, so I'm out here clam digging with Susan. And yeah, this is Wally's job. I don't know what I'm doing. Long Beach, Washington. Clam it. So I'll give you a rundown. Check it out. Uh, find a clam divot. What up, YouTube? I slept in. Raph went clamming. Yeah, yeah. Those are all razor clams. Would you get 20? That's the limit? 20 is the limit here. And yeah, you see I broke one. Smashed that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, got them anyway. They look good, man. They look good. There's some fucking big ones in there. There's a lot of meat, dude. I'm pretty impressed with them. Like, I'm a little excited to... I guess you got we were provisioning because we're now in Long Beach, Washington, and we're going to be here for at least three days. So we're going to go in the country store and we're going to provision for the cabin some. We need to get coffee and stuff like that. Yeah, but I'm just doing the out of state. Rice? Rice. But we're on the West Coast, man. You should do like quinoa. <laughs> you know. Hey, it's Bruce Lee's favorite salad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For real. Hey, Ralph, catch it. You <laughs> caught a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really digging Jack's Country Store. You can get some gold pans. Oh, you're in Long Beach, Washington, y'all. We're in Washington, which is also a recreational marijuana state. So we're gonna go to a dispensary just to see what that stuff's all about. Not a clue. I've never seen it before. The people out here look really happy. There might be something to it. We're gonna crush some tacos real quick and then we're gonna go to a really cool junk store. Taco time. Taco time. Here we are at the latest of our junk store tour. We are finding more and more interesting indoor plumbing fixtures here on the Washington coast. More junk stores. This one looks pretty good. Here's an elk. I believe that is a black buck. There's a big horn. Wow, more dead stuff. I love dead stuff. That is a cape buffalo. Is there? Yeah, back in the corner. I'm gonna go check it out. 
Okay, buffalo, rough to grouse. Looks like an Egyptian goose. Mallard, another Drake mallard. And that actually looks like a whitetail white rather than a mule deer. Rocky Mountain elk. This is a whole bunch of used lariats. And that would be a lasso for city folk. Five bucks. This place is absolutely massive. Every time I turn around, I'm finding a new room. We stopped at the Sportsman Cannery to pick up some more stuff for dinner. You're a live crowd. We wanted fresh seafood, so we came down to the wharf. To come to this store. Fresh fish? Yeah. Which other store? Three times. Somebody in Face World helped me. This <laughs> is not real. Real Susan, <laughs> YouTube is going to tell you that that is fake. It's not. It, yeah. He's so real. Susan wholeheartedly feels that the alligator man is real. It's real. Now, it's physical. Like, it's, it's physically there. It is a real object. But this is not a real oh, yeah, anything. Those are, those are monkey teeth. They're monkey teeth? Yeah. Okay. I'm not doing it though. New experiences. We're supposed to oh sit in the passion chair. We're going to see the passion. I uh, dig the little headhunter dude. Let's see how passionate you are, dude. Nothing. It's just flashing around. It's wild. Oh yeah, you're wild, man. You're wild. Maybe a little bit. Now you're in the hot seat. You get a free massage out of it too. Right. I can feel my passion juices flowing. The vibrating is activating my passion juices. Oh yeah. I'm feeling rather passionate. Oh, oh, oh you're a just a teaser. <laughs> <laughs> just a teaser. Oh. What's your name, man? Tim. Tim. Thank you, Tim. No Tim just donated a quarter, so now Susan has to take the test. I tried to get her to do it during work before she would. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now she's got the peer oh, pressure. No, she's in the hot seat. <laughs> oh, what's it gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> That's why she never wanted to touch it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Angry lion. Is in the Christmas spirit. Antique peep shows. It's a leatherback tortoise or turtle shell. There's a lion. There's a little kitty that probably belongs to that old lady. It's a cool hollowed out log. Old water tower. That is really cool. I'm going to show you all something really, really cool. Okay. You can see the concrete wall. 
and more concrete that's falling in on the bottom. You can see the concrete that I'm fall standing on. This, that's all part of a World War II bunker system that was set in place as a defense against any potential Japanese invasion across the Pacific. And I've always heard about these bunkers, but today's the first day we've actually hiked to them, so I'm pretty excited. Here's another bunker here. We're gonna go out front and see if we can look in front of it. Homo written all over the wall. <laughs> That's probably where the gun mount was. Probably. And there is a view of the Pacific in case the Japanese did ever invade. Now this bunker was obviously designed for some artillery. The pad that Remy is standing on probably supported something big. Pa, pa, pa. Double tiered. No. Susan just corrected me. This is three tiered. We're standing on the bottom one right now. Wow. That is really a substantial bunker. There. Y'all wanna go inside? Let's check it out. This thing's pretty impressive. Indeed. Who? Oh, oh, this one. Right, so. We decided to walk down to the North Head Lighthouse. Look at that. The Head Lighthouse was erected in 1898. So it's 100 and almost 25 years old and it's still kicking strong. It is purdy. There is the base of another one of the World War II bunkers. More bunkers, y'all. Battery Harvey Allen. And this one actually has a fireplace. This was probably the highly coveted bunker to be stationed in. Those doors have just been eaten alive with rust, but they were really substantial. I mean, they were made with a super heavy gauge steel. You can see the rivets. More bunkers. Wow, these things are so cool. This door is completely rusted off. Just the hinges. Here's another little outbuilding. And it's put away. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. 
There's a toilet flying. This was the head. And that's why it is positioned away from the rest of the bunker complex. We're walking down to the beach or close to the beach so we can get a view of Dead Man's Cove. Dead Man's Cove got its name because it's a natural cove and bodies just happened to wash in there. When somebody was lost at sea, they would continue to check Dead Man's Cove because eventually the body would more than likely wash up in there. Here we are at Dead Man's Cove. You can see the tight little area there between the rocks where the bodies would wash in. And then you can see all the slack water here and why they would stay when the tide went back out. I came to check out that little hobbit tree and I found another bunker. Or at least what's left of one. Okay, y'all, we're gonna go check out a shipwreck. Now across the river, that is Astoria, Oregon. I'll blow that up so you can see it. And that's the Columbia River. We're gonna cross the Columbia River into Oregon at Astoria, and then we're going to a shipwreck. Now crossing the land back to Goonie Land. We're getting closer to Goonie Land and the shipwreck. This is like a three, it's like a three bridge trip. It's already getting pretty exciting. Multiple bridges always mean more adventure. Susan and Raph just spotted some town elk poaching a sunny spot in somebody's front yard so we're gonna pull up on them we're gonna straight do a city elk drive-by but we're not gonna shoot them <laughs> we're, we're just gonna video one just got up he heard of me talking about him pull it swoop right off roll up on him roll up on him rap get, get, oh. get oh. 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 how am i gonna i was no no i was gonna chase one down he was he probably fucking would have <laughs> We are now at the beach, and there is the shipwreck. We're walking up on it. You can see the bow here, or at least I think it's the bow. We can tell in a minute. And it ran all the way out there. Yeah, here, this is the bow of it. You can see right there. Up where the bow sprint would have been is completely rusted away. Oh, I'm almost getting a little wet. Wow, this is really cool. This is pretty cool, man. We're walking down the length of the shipwreck and towards basically where the stern would have been. You can see the ribs. And I don't know if this is a smokestack from a boiler or what. Oh, it's full of water. And mussels. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> oh. See the, all the mussels in there? Here's the other side. Basically, this would be the port side of the ship. And these ribs over there would be the starboard side. Here's another one of those. Clam wells. Yeah. I think those were the smokestacks from the boiler room. And this is, I believe, the stern. But it's hard to tell 
because so much of it's buried, it could go back another 10, 30 foot, who knows? We are now up at the Young River Falls, and before I show you all the falls, we've been seeing this sticker. And I think it is just so cool. So the story of bait and tackle, I really dig y'all's logo. There they are, y'all. We're taking y'all down there. Raph's over here playing in caves. <laughs> is it a cave or just like a root hole? Oh. How far back's it go? Uh, oh, wow. 15 foot. Yeah. Hey, Wally. Yeah. Dude, this right here, this is naked hippie country. This is, this is, <laughs> this is naked hippie country. Last time we were in a river like this, we saw naked hippies. True story, Susan. That's awesome. Naked hippies and yeah. their little dogs. Hell yeah. There's the falls. Here's, dang. It looks fishy. Oh, it is wet up here. There's the falls. You can see all the mist blowing right at us. It's absolutely exhilarating. It's like biting into a York peppermint patty. There's the falls and we're heading back the other way now, y'all. There is a huge herd, well not huge, but there's a pretty big herd of elk. Looks like there's 25, 30 animals maybe. We almost harvested some venison. It's okay, I paid for insurance on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did not bring a light source, you cannot see me. But we are walking from our cabin to get something to eat. We are here at Doc's to play punch board. Uh, Diet Coke, please. These are all punch boards, y'all. I'm playing for a pocket knife. Ralph's playing for a fillet knife. And where do we get our punches from? Where do we get our this one is this one. Oh, okay, you use the punch to punch these out, and they are 10 cents each. And you gotta try to find a number and match it up with these. So I'm gonna pick one of these blocks, and we're just gonna clear it. We're gonna go with this white block right there. Okay, here's all the little pieces of paper, and I'm gonna unroll them right now. Or at least one. Oh. And there's our number. I've spent four bucks. I've won nothing. <laughs> Same. Uh, we have a winner. A winner. Right there. I'm anxious to see the fillet knife. I'm actually impressed with Ralph's fillet knife. It's a shred. Yeah. With the leather sheet. See the winning fillet knife. It's all right. It is. It's a shred, man. I'm pretty impressed with it. Gambling at docks. Eat Donald burgers, frosty mug. This place was pretty enjoyable. Not too bad for getting here. Raph decided to go with local butter. Woo! Yeah. And Jack's Country Store, which we both really dug, has their own branded Creole. And Raph's going to do Creole and Old Bay, so it's like a North uh, meets South type mix tonight. That was our pretty big adventure. We explored all kinds of abandoned World War II bunkers, which was really awesome. Um, we hit some waterfalls, and then we even gambled at a bar for little pocket knives. Raph won a shred filet yeah, knife, which is pretty cool. Nice. And now he's cutting up some halibut. We got some bread. Ooh, you got some panko too, huh? I yeah. discovered a supermarket. Those are the razor clams. 
Mm -hmm. We're getting dinner ready. So we're going to get back to, or actually, Raph's going to get back to cooking. I'm going to get back to editing. And we're going to, I think we've got like three or four videos coming out tonight. Y'all have a great week, and we will see y'all soon.